Hey y'all, Irix Guy here, and I've been using the GoPro Hero 9 Black for over a week now, and I want to share my opinions so far. Now keep in mind, I've been using GoPro since, uh, I'm making sure it wasn't a snake, um, been using GoPro since GoPro Hero 2. I never started with GoPro Hero 1, but I started with GoPro Hero 2. So you can check out my GoPro video playlist going all the way back to GoPro Hero 2 and see how far this technology has come. But my opinions in regards to the GoPro Hero 9 Black so far, well, without a doubt, it's the best GoPro camera on the market today, in my opinion, not just because it's the newest, not just because it's the latest release, but for several reasons. Number one, the uh, you know if you happen to crack your, your lens cover, this is replaceable. Uh, number two, you don't have to have, remember that little GoPro, they call it the GoPro frame or whatever. You had to put a frame on, and the frame is what had the, the mount on the bottom for your GoPro style mount. No longer do you have to do that. The little piece that mounts to the GoPro mount is on the bottom of the GoPro, and while it's not in use, it can fold up. So if you want to use your GoPro, sit it on a flat surface, maybe record a sunset or something like that without using a GoPro mount, it makes that super convenient. Also, it's a less, it's a, uh, it's a, it's one less component to forget. You know, have you, have you ever had an older model GoPro? You rushed out into the field, and then you realize, oh man, I don't have the housing, so I can't mount it to any of my GoPro mounts. I mean, that stuff can happen. Since that's integrated, that's such a that's such a huge step forward that a lot of people didn't even realize was a huge step forward. Obviously the side where it opens, um, that's, I think that's improved. You just kind of pop it up and pop it out. Check out my other video in my GoPro Hero 9 Black video playlist where I demonstrate how to open the GoPro Hero 9 Black and also how to close the GoPro Hero 9 Black. Obviously it uses USB-C for sync and charging. And USB-C, it's a no-brainer. It's a cable that you can you know, put in in either direction you don't have to fumble with those old style cables where they would only go in in one way. So that's, that's super nice. The battery is larger. And initially I thought that the GoPro Hero 9 Black battery being larger was just because of this front facing screen. And I was like, it's not gonna provide a lot better battery life. The battery life on this is significantly better. I haven't timed it to the minute yet, but it is significantly better than the previous model GoPro Hero uh, cameras. The fact that you have a forward facing screen is a game changer. You know, if you're doing a selfie type shot, you got your monopod or whatever, you don't want to fire up your GoPro app on your, on your smartphone. It's a quick way to look at it and say, okay, I'm properly framed. Super nice. And you can change the timeout for the front screen and the rear screen. So if you're like me and you're just using it for, you know, for a few seconds and making sure that uh, you're properly aligned, you can change the time off. I wish they would adjust the time off to where you can... Uh, where you could only do like maybe 10 or 15 seconds. I don't think you can go that low yet, at least with the current firmware. But you know, my thing is I just use it to, okay, I'm properly aligned and then I just want to flick it off. So I wish, you know, in the future firmware update, hopefully GoPro will give us the option of, uh, you know, having the screen automatically turn off after say 10 or 15 seconds. I think the minimum now, and check out my other video off the top of my head, I think it may be 30 seconds or so, which is still okay. But it's not, uh, you know, it's not optimal. So. Um, you know, that's, that's a minor gripe as far as the, uh, as far as the video modes, you know, obviously you're getting 5k 30 frames per second, which is, which is phenomenal because if you're filming in 4k, you can film using the camera in 5k and then punch it down to, uh, you know, to 4k 30 in post. And you can, you can crop in a little bit without using, without losing any of that, uh, video quality. So that's, that's a huge, uh, huge advantage. And then, you know, just the overall design of it. I mean, it's, it's very well made. The, uh, you know, the fact, like I mentioned earlier, that you can replace the, uh, you know, the lens cover, or not the lens cover, but the lens filter is nice because that was something with some of the GoPro models. If you crack this, it was permanently made it to the GoPro and that, that, could, uh, that could be problematic. As far as the size is concerned, you know, nothing revolutionary there. I mean, most of your uh, more current uh, GoPro models, they're pretty much around the same size. So, you know, nothing revolutionary there, but it is, it is the best camera on the best GoPro camera on the market today. One of the big things is is the stabilization. Hyper smooth on this, and check out my GoPro Hero 9 Black video playlist. Hyper smooth on this is almost as good as a mechanical gimbal. Actually, it's so good, and I've always been an advocate of using a gimbal. Um, it's actually so good that I would rather not take the gimbal and just use this because even like this on my back strap mount, you can find you can find the camera, the batteries, this back, backpack strap mount and all of that, just expand this video's description and then click the link there. But, you know, having such phenomenal 
in-camera stabilization does away with the need to have a mechanical gimbal. So that's one less thing I've got to throw in my bag when I'm backpacking. Uh, that's one less thing that I've got to recharge. That's one less thing that I've got to lose. So, you know, it's it's a really it's a it's a major a major step forward. So, um, you know, I don't I don't have anything negative to say about it at this point. But if I do, you know, I'll definitely uh, post a follow up and uh, and do that. And if there's any specific GoPro Hero Nine Black questions that you have please comment below because I'm looking for future video topics and I'll take this thing out in the field. Now there's certain things I won't do. I don't go skydiving or anything like that because I'm afraid of heights, but there's a lot of things I will do. If there's something you're curious about, you know, just comment below and I'll see if I can film a video to, uh, to respond to your question. So, um, yeah, no, you know, no complaints. The, uh, oh, the one thing is the, uh, they have a cloud service where it can upload videos to the internet. I don't know, I mean, you may be a fan of that. Personally, I like to store my videos locally, but you know, you may be a fan of the cloud storage and that's something that you can do. And you can do that with some of the other model GoPros too. So that's not something specific to the uh, GoPro Hero 9 Black. But I think if you're like me and check out, check out all my GoPro Hero 9 Black videos. I think if you're like me, you're gonna find that the 5K30 is probably gonna be your preferred resolution. And it's, uh, I mean, it's, to, to get that type of performance out of such a small camera that you can mount almost anywhere is phenomenal. And, you know, I, it, this does not do this uh, 360 spherical, and that's a topic for another discussion, but do you really want to film in 360? Tell me what you think within the comment section below, and be sure to subscribe. It's youtube.com forward slash irixguy, and ring that bell icon when you do to be notified whenever I post another video. Y'all have a good day. Hey y'all, Captain Irix Guy here. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to subscribe. It's youtube.com forward slash Irix Guy. And ring that bell icon when you do to be notified whenever I post another video. Thanks for your viewership and y'all have a good day.